How you doing traders? Welcome back to Boom and Crash Group channel, Boom Crash GFX channel. You must appreciate the subscribers to the channel. You are the best and you will ever remain the best. And if you are new to the channel, kindly hit the red button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell for you not to miss out on every video that will be shared with us on this channel. And to my returning subscribers, you are the best and you will always remain the best. What's working on the day? So basically, I'll be talking about trading consolidation. So talking about how we can make it or take advantage of every consolidation in the market what, what consolidation is all about what and what to check out for in trading consolidation the trick the secret behind consolidation so traders pay close attention to every information that will be disseminate in this video to every one of us without wasting much of our time let's dive quickly into today's business here we are traders trading consolidation first thing first we have to know what consolidation itself is all about what do we mean by consolidation what is consolidation in a simple definition consolidation is basically a ranging market talking about a fight or tussle in between the sellers and the buyers in the market elaborate definition of consolidation state that a consolidation in technical analysis refers to an asset oscillating between a well-defined pattern of trading level and when we say oscillating we're talking about something moving back and forth in a particular zone moving up and down in a particular sequence as you can see on the screen moving back and forth in a particular trading levels so a consolidation is generally interpreted as market indecisiveness which ends when the asset price move above or below the trading Understanding consolidation Period of consolidation, duration of consolidation The period of consolidation can actually be found in price charts for any time and this period can actually last for days, weeks or months Still on the period of consolidation So there are certain rules in conjunction with how we can take advantage of trade consolidation Mostly traders actually avoid trading consolidation because of the tricky aspect of it you don't know when and when it's coming to an end you don't know when and when breakouts will actually occur in the market so there are certain rules in which we can follow in trading consolidation so as per the rules there are certain rules you have to follow while trading consolidation and there are certain way in which we can trade consolidation you can trade consolidation in and out what do i mean by in and out what i'm saying is that we can actually trade the main consolidation or we await a breakout or the test of the consolidation that we can go about trading consolidation so as trading the end of the consolidation meaning trading the consolidation itself there are certain rules you have to put in your mind you have to note that you must have a minimum of two resistance here minimum of two resistance and a minimum of one support so traders we actually know haven't identified this to be a rigid market trade at this particular level are the are these seller zones or the resistance to sell to this particular support but in certain scenario to confirm that this is actually a ranging market that is going to serve or that is going to definitely you no know, respect the rules involved in consolidation you have to await a confirmation at this second resistance before going into the market why waiting for confirmation because the market might actually you know decide to continue the trend and over so awaiting a confirmation at this particular zone this seller zone waiting for the market to actually sell to this zone then we know that we have in a consolidation then we can actually put our buy order at this particular buyer zone this um support then we can actually buy back to the seller zone the resistance so another way in which we can actually trade this consolidation also is by awaiting the breakout of the market can await a breakout of this of the consolidation then having our retest we can put our sell order at the you know the previous support zone which the market 
we subsequently make a resistance then we can put our cell order there then sell from that zone so in a recap of the rules in trading consolidation you have to put in mind a trend in which the full market is whether it's bearish or bullish trend so from there you can know which way the market will eventually break out towards eventually so rules which you have to put at the back of your mind is that there must be a minimum of two resistance and one support and get it to the second leg of the of the resistance there must be a confirmation you have to put at your left hand and not joke with it before going into the market selling for that zone you should wait for confirmation or rather let the market set back to the support zone where the buyers are seated then you can boldly place your buy order back to the resistance level then also you can actually sell from that same resistance level another way is by awaiting the breakout of the consolidation i haven't gotten a breakout of the market then from the retest you can actually trade that as well by selling the market so vice versa and if it is a bullish trend the rules are the same we have to now take note of minimum of two supports and also a minimum of one resistance so having the first support when this is the second support and a minimum of one resistance so we can await a cogent confirmation from this from this support before buying to the resistance or we should await the market to actually confirm the raging market by letting the price buy to this resistance then we can actually place our set order here by selling back to back to the to the support and other way is by awaiting the breakout and haven't got haven't gotten our breakout what next we should await is the retest to the to the previous resistance which the market will actually subsequently make a support then we can place our buy order at this support then buy the market from the breakouts a retest of the consolidation we cannot but talk about consolidation patterns in the market there are different kind of consolidation patterns whereby we have the side waves ranges the downward sloping ranges and we have the upward sloping ranges and also the triangular consolidation where we see the triangles wedges and pennants so on the screen these are the kinds of consolidation pattern the sideway ranges the downward or upward sloping ranges which are also called the flags and we have the triangular consolidations the triangles wedges and pennants so let's go into the market and see a typical example of consolidation on the chart. Here we have consolidation market on boom 500, a typical example of consolidation in the market. I've been looking at the trend of boom 500. We can see that we are on a bearish trend and possibly trading the in and out of this consolidation, we are expecting 100% breakout to be bearish breakout even though we are not trading the consolidation we are intact and we are on the watch for the bearish breakout and returns for us to go in into the market so here we have the consolidation As we can have it, we have all our requirements complete on this market. Looking at this consolidation, we have a minimum two resistance in place and we have a minimum support in place. So trading the in of this market, we insofar we already have our two resistance in place and we have our support. We can await and confirmation on this zone, then set back to this support. This is the support zone, and this 
is the resistance zone. I'm trading out of this market here. Once we have our breakout, which we have the breakout, this is the breakout. What next we are expecting trading out of this consolidation is a uh, retext. And what next is to sell? Sell the market. So basically, this is what consolidation entails. We can trade the end of the consolidation as well. We can actually and patiently await the breakout and test of the market. Once we have to know that we have to always follow the trend, be it in any form of the consolidation, be it the sideways ranges consolidation, be it the downward or upward slopey ranges consolidation, or be it the triangular consolidation, the wedges, the pennant, any form of consolidation, the rules always apply. You can trade in of the consolidation or out of the consolidation. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope we all have learned a lot about consolidation. We know now what to look into while trading consolidation in and out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and also share the video for other traders to be enlightened about consolidation. Stay tuned as more of this information over trading the market will be shared with us on this channel. Don't forget what we do on this channel. We share with us trading tips, trading tricks, trading analysis in which all of us on this channel will definitely benefit from, enjoy definitely and from all the analysis that will be shared with us on this channel. A must to appreciate the subscribers to this channel. You are the best and you will ever remain the best. And for the new subscribers, don't forget to click the red button, subscribe and turn on the post notification bell for you to be notified every time new videos will be shared with us on this channel. So traders, until next time, I come away.